What if I were to tell you that this costs $3.50, but this better ammunition only costs $1.35? Today, let's talk about reloading versus factory ammo on the Backfire channel. Everything has changed this year in regard to the numbers for reloading. Suddenly, things look a lot better. The channel. I'm wearing my camo right now because I'm actually headed out the door to go on a muzzleloader hunt for deer and elk. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys. So what I did is I just went into my ammo shelf and I got six different boxes of factory ammo. So I just tried to get a fair variety of factory ammo. And then I ran the numbers of what it costs to reload equivalent ammunition so all you need is you need the primer. It sends a little flash of spark into the case that's holding this powder and then a bullet. And really all reloading is is just squishing that all together so you can go shoot it again. The cost per box is on the right versus the factory ammo on the left. So you'll see it's 50-50 here if it's cheaper to reload or not. So I've seen a ton of people run this analysis and say reloading makes absolutely no sense but it's because they didn't really think through it completely. So look at this. This is what percentage of the cost of a round comes from the primer versus brass powder and bullet. On the top is just your first firing with that. And you say the brass is 67% of the cost of a cartridge is the brass, right? But the thing is you can reload and reload and reload and reload that brass, right? That's kind of like saying, you know, you're, it costs you $40,000 to drive your first tank of gas with a car. Well, you don't replace the car every time you get out, you run out of gas. You have to buy more gas, but you keep the same car. And that's really what the brass is. Your brass is gonna last many different firings. If you anneal, maybe dozens. If you don't anneal, let's call it eight firings. We'll, we'll take as an assumption here. So now let's look at those numbers a second time. Factory ammo is on the left. Then we see the first shot reloading that we looked at last time. But now we're going to assume that we can reload this eight times. Suddenly the cost drops way down for that ammo. Suddenly reloading starts to make a lot of sense. I mean, if you're shooting a 28 nozzler, it's the difference between $80 per box and $25 per box. But then what happens if you don't have to buy brass at all? I mean, I have this bucket. It weighs almost 50 pounds of brass from different cartridges that I have shot over the years that I can reload. If you've been wise and you've saved up a bucket of brass uh, from the factory ammo you've shot in the past, then things get way cheaper even. I'll show you those numbers here. Now that won't last forever because eventually you're gonna run out of brass, but if you have been saving your brass like a good boy or girl, then you save quite a bit. The argument that I hear quite often though is you have to consider your time though, how much time it takes to reload. And I guess that's different for every person. I definitely don't consider that time for two reasons. One, factory ammo does not equal reloaded ammo or anything close to it. it Hand-loaded ammo is way better than factory ammo in my experience. I keep hearing people say, oh, factory ammo is so good these days, you don't have to reload. Boy, I disagree. Maybe that was true pre-pandemic. I definitely don't think it's true today. You know, I just showed the other day uh, 6.8 Western, I was shooting Winchester ammo and Winchester and, and Browning ammo, it's, it's made by Winchester either way, right? And so there's only one company you can get the ammo from and I was seeing 79 feet per second differences between shots from the same box. That's way too high of an extreme spread to get real accurate long range ammo and that's what the whole cartridge is built around is flat shooting, it's that Western cartridge, right? And so with hand loading, I mean, you can get the extreme spread down to, I don't know, 15 uh, is reasonable, even over 10 shots, 20 shots, something like that. I mean, you'll see people post pictures of, oh, I have an extreme spread of three, you know, um, but that's only on a few shots. Uh, you know, if, if you're, you know, 15 feet per second, 20 feet per second, that's really quality ammo, even 30, uh, you're doing fine, right? It's not gonna make that big of a difference for most kind of hunting and shooting situations. Now, I don't know if I can say it for all manufacturers, some of them produce incredible stuff, but 
I would say in general, factory ammo has been set back in quality about 10 years because of the pandemic. So that's one reason, they're not totally equivalent. The other reason that I personally don't count my time when reloading, and I will show you the numbers with time, but the reason that I don't is because I love it. To me, reloading is just as fun as going out to the range and shooting. I love every part of reloading. I like all the stuff and just going out into the garage when I have 20 minutes and doodling around there. It's just, a, to me, that's part of the hobby. I enjoy it. It's like, you don't, when you buy a surfboard, you don't count the cost of the time you spend surfing. That's silly, right? That's kind of how I view hand loading. But some people don't. For some people, it's just a pure chore. And so for that, let's look at that. So this is materials and paying yourself $25 an hour to get a job reloading, okay? So if you're there, well, we're still way cheaper than factory ammo. So that's even paying yourself $25 an hour. Now, the assumptions that I did here, I actually timed myself loading 100 cases and how much time I had to spend on each step. Now, this doesn't include, you know, time in the tumbler where you can just leave it. This is my active time. And so on average, I'm spending one minute, 63 seconds per cartridge. But we have some fixed costs in addition to the variable costs. You gotta go buy all the reloading stuff, right? Well, I have priced out what a pretty nice reloading setup is, an intermediate kind of setup. And you can do it for $900. If you're wanting to know exactly what I would recommend, go to backfire.tv. And about halfway down on that front page, I have you know my favorite scopes, hunting, and reloading gear. Click there and it's an exact list of the stuff that I would recommend for reloading. That's not a cheap reloading setup. You can get started for 400 bucks with one of those kits, but that's the nice kit, right? So how many boxes of ammo would you have to load in order to break even? Well, if we're comparing to Remington Core Locked 30-06, you actually never break even. If you're paying yourself $25 an hour and you're paying for the gear, you actually never break even. On all of the other cartridges, you do break even. It would take a while. If we're doing 6.5 Creedmoor, you gotta make 80 boxes of ammo. That's gonna take a lot of people a few years to be able to do. But if you're shooting 28 Nosler, 22 boxes, for a lot of people, that's for me, that would only last a couple months. <laughs> That's not very long for me. But even that, I still feel like is pretty deceiving because again, you're paying yourself $25 an hour. And again, it's that surfing thing. I just, I enjoy it. And so why would I count the cost of going my time surfing when I buy a surfboard? It just doesn't make sense to me. So if you see it that way, and it's not a chore to you, then that's how many boxes it would take to break even and so for a lot of people, man, that starts to make a ton of sense. If you're shooting 28 Nosler, you're 16 boxes in and you broke even, right? But we've got to sell this to the wife, right? Don't show her this video. Don't show her these numbers. I want you to sell this thing. And so if you're trying to sell this to the wife, I did some wonderful mental gymnastics here. Are you ready? So when I buy the reloading gear, let's say I spend 900 bucks. Did I really, did my net worth decrease $900? No because I could turn around and sell it for 750, even used, right? And so the reloading gear, the true cost is only about $250 because you now have that asset of the thing you brought, right? And so now, I mean, six boxes of 300 Win Mag and boom, you are broken even, my friend. But we'll dive further into the mental gymnastics. Let's say you've been saving your brass, right? You got one of those big buckets and we don't have to pay for brass. Oh yeah, now we've done it. Your ninth box of 6.5 Creedmoor, you have broken even, my friend. All right, I'm obviously kind of joking around with some of these contortions of numbers to have it make sense. But let's go back. Let's say you're paying yourself $25 an hour to reload, plus all the materials to reload. I mean, on average, the factory ammo is 47% more expensive. And so if you shoot pretty regularly or you want to be shooting more, reloading makes so much sense. Plus, your understanding of ballistics and the quality of your ammunition and the accuracy you're going to be getting is going to take a significant jump forward. So for me, reloading is a no-brainer. To me, those advantages way outweigh the disadvantages. But for some of you, it makes no sense. If you're going out and you're shooting 
five, six boxes a year. And I mean, you're really into the hunting, but yeah, you're not really into the ballistics and the guns and all the cool calibers and stuff. First of all, why are you watching this channel? But, but if that really is you, then yeah, this doesn't make any sense. But for a lot of people who have been waiting to get into reloading, I think right now may be the time. Now, I know we're going to get some comments on this video of people saying, yeah, but where do you get these components? Everything I priced on here is available. I like find found actual prices. And so people are having a hard time finding primers. I go to the gun store about three times a week. And so I know what's popping up on shelves. They're starting to come in stock. I see them fairly regularly. They go fast, but I'm seeing them coming in pretty regularly and either online or in stores. And so you really can get the things you need now uh, in order to be reloading, as long as you're not specific on, I need this particular bullet, but you're willing to look for through a range. Everybody's gonna look at this question of reloading versus factory a little bit different, depending on your personal preferences. But for me, I'd say there's never been a better time to start reloading. Wish me luck on the hunt. See you guys next week.